in your house on a, on a Tuesday night. God, we thank you so much for our friends coming from Colorado to sing with us tonight. And we just pray that you would bless the service. Uh, Lord, we just ask that your Holy Spirit would just have free course and free reign through this service. Lord, we just pray blessings on each one here tonight. We do pray this in Jesus' sweet name. Amen. 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 Uh, quick housekeeping. Those of you, probably everybody here has been to the Bennett Room. We changed the bathrooms. It used The women's used to be first. It is now second. So make sure you read the tag on the bathroom before you go in or to get a little bit awkward. We switched out. We do have coffee going in the back kitchen. You're welcome to that. There's water back there as well. Okay, this is uh, our son, oldest son, Carl, full singer. He lives here at Rossville, and he's been playing the guitar for, I don't know, a couple of years now, probably. Seven. Seven? Oh, well, that's how fast time goes, right? <laughs> and this is Mark Nisley and his wife, Ruth Nisley. And as Mark already mentioned, they're from Colorado. And we were privileged to sing with them uh, the 1st of April in their living room. We joined them in their living room, Rochelle and I did. And they said they was touring through here, and we said, please come to Rossville. So that's how this evening kind of came about, and um, I'm just going to turn it over to Mark. I think we're going to start with, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. And you're welcome to join in and sing along at any time. So yes, this is a... know the songs. This is a un, unedited, unrehearsed. That's how we used to start the living room singing. We still do. We say, welcome to our living room sing along with Mark and Ruth. It's unedited, unrehearsed, grab a bowl of popcorn, throw your shoes off. You don't have to do that. But um, yeah, we welcome you here. And so this is an informal time. What Susan said, that's how we met Susan through the uh, live, live stream. We started back when, when COVID hit and everybody was under lockdown. And uh, we went live stream on Facebook. And... Um, this is what has happened. So we've met a lot of wonderful people, met some more tonight that we've never seen in person before until now, so that's good. And sing along and relax. And you know, one of the things I'd like to make sure that you're aware of is that you have an opportunity to say something for the Lord. Maybe a, a story that you got to share about your experience with COVID or something, anything that it lifts up the Lord. I appreciate it, Brother Mark's prayer that the Holy Spirit would have free course here. Right. It would be a time of worship, a time of encouragement, and the Lord knows what we need more than we do. So we're going to start out with a couple of courses. Hope you join it in the key of D. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing.
big old bus and have you all go with us. We'll just go some more, right? It's good to have you here, like I said before, and um, just thinking about this, you know, I could have never predicted this event in my wildest dreams back when we first started singing. Um, Ruth and I decided, that, well, will we actually pray? What can we do, Lord? We're kind of shut down here. We know there's a lot of other people shut down. I had the opportunity of serving at the um, Rock of Ages Retirement Village as a chaplain back then in Oregon. And, um, of course, the shutdown really affected that um, home in uh, many ways where the elderly were confined to their rooms and and they couldn't hear us talking. It's just a really tough challenge. And uh, found out when we went on our Facebook Live that a lot of people were struggling through how to respond and all the fear uh, and the uh, unknowns that were there. And I just wanted to say that because now look, what have God brought? Here we are. We're healthy, we're alive. There's been losses, amen. How many of you know a friend or relative who passed away from COVID? And uh, I cannot explain that. <laughs> I don't think any of us really can. Except that I know that Satan is alive and well. And he tries to destroy. He tries to steal our faith. And he did his best. What we want to see God do with this is out of all of this, bring glory to himself and bring people to himself. And he be glorified. Taking the ashes and making something beautiful. Can he do that? Is he big enough to do that? Yes, he is. And it all begins at the foot of the cross. We had a friend who requested, we took a request um, from last night and a couple of times before that. Is that right, hon? People put in requests on, on our Facebook Live. We are live streaming this tonight, so I hope you don't mind every once in a while when we scan the audience. I asked Phil if he would do that, and he consented to do that. We're not professional, so you're allowed to wave when we do that or anything like that. And it is a relax, it's supposed to be a relaxed, informal time of just enjoying each other's company and learning to know each other as well. It's been, been exciting to hear some of your stories and always is um, in our travels. One of the things that has amazed Ruth and I is how that not only were we blessed from just stopping everything, sitting down for an hour and singing praises and singing songs and having fun, laughter and tears, and, but so were others. And we still meet people who come up and they say, you have no idea what that meant that we just felt like we were part of a little family at that point. And uh, God used that in, in the way that he chose to. It wasn't us. But because of the old rugged cross, right? Yes, okay. we're going to go in the key of G of that. Is that okay with you? Michael Swanson requested. Yes, Michael Swanson. If you're listening in, I'm sure. It's for you. Too. On a hill far away stood
Uh, who would have ever thought that, <laughs> I know this sounds maybe corny, but who would have ever thought that a deaf instrument like that becomes precious to us? And part of that is us taking up our cross and dying to self, Amen. right? And, being, and rising again with Christ. What a privilege that is. Amen, Amen. Jesus. All right, we're going to go next time. Okay, Teresa Lovell requested Jerusalem, my happy home, and she uh -oh. said Susan would know this one. All right, yeah. Susan, we're counting on you. And um, everyone has that one on their uh, seats oh, cool. and sheet music. And She's so, such a good planner. I don't uh, plan like that. <laughs> I didn't plan what key we're going to sing. Oh, no, so, you <laughs> don't know the song. I'm, I don't know the song that well, so. Okay, hey, Lou, you want to bring up a couple of those papers? Uh, I didn't end up getting one, so... Is this um, one of your grandson? Yeah, this is awesome. our oldest. No, not oldest. Our second granddaughter. You want to sing a song yeah, by yourself up here? <laughs> My mind needs to be up. You mean up oh. closer to me? or? I meant to ask you all. Am I too loud? Is, is the music okay? The guitar's not drowning? Oh, actually, it could you need to hear a Susan a little more? Yeah. Just because you're always such a quiet person. <laughs> You know that is true. <laughs> okay, um, is Teresa here? Where's Teresa at? Or maybe she's just online. Okay. Um, I wanted to know what tune she wanted, but oh. I think I know. <laughs> uh, let's see what tune she should be playing.
Joy of the South. Okay, or, or we, what do you have there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. okay, go ahead. Go with it. Joy South requested in the garden. Yeah, that's a real popular one. Yeah, that is. So we doing that I think me? probably when you do a sing along, at least in a retirement village, yeah. this is one of the most often requested next to Amazing Grace. And isn't it a beautiful picture of us? The communication that God has with us in our hearts. Amen. He, he walks with us. He talks with us. Did you really do that with us? Yes. Yes. In the key of G. G. If we will allow. That's right. You, you got it. Because they're caught in the thick of things. She loved life and she loved the children. Don't get me wrong. But, um, but it is true. These moments come and go. And if we're not careful, we never stop and smell the roses. Amen. We never tell the people that we love them. We Amen. tell each other. And so this song takes us way back. We used to sing it as a family. One of the precious memories I have is our daughter, uh, just as a very young girl, repeating that last phrase. We have this moment today. So you do that, honey. You're still a young girl, right? Okay. Yeah, it's called We Have This Moment. You guys heard this before? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I wonder oh, okay. what song don't you know, right? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and see. Darlene Ballman requested this song. Yeah, Darlene Ballman. This is for you, too. Hey! 
into the kitchen one evening coming home from work night of Bible, first night of vacation Bible school um, my mind was on that a little bit and getting ready for that and our youngest son Kevin at that point our youngest son Kevin was on top of our other son David now Kevin was only 18 months old David was about four years old or five years old and he was pretending to whoop David up you know like boys do and having a grand old time, and David was sitting there pretending like he's getting beat up. And Kevin turned around and he saw me coming in. And he jumped off of David and he came running over to me and said, Hey, Daddy. And I threw him up in the air. I did not know that that night was going to be the last night I ever saw the name alive. Wow. And I think the Lord gave me that special memory. <laughs> I, I remember wrestling back through the loss of that. And, God, oh God, why? At 18 months old, he went to our sitters or to the sitter's house and got out on the road and was struck and killed by a car. And um, God gave me that moment. And I can still remember. One of the things that happens when you use, lose a loved one, at least for me, is that you want to remember, and sometimes you almost panic because you're not remembering all the things that you want to. And uh, that's one memory that will just never go away. I just love that. So thank you, Lord, for those moments, right? And that we have, and I appreciate you sharing that as well. And I imagine most of you could share those moments too, is that right? Precious moments that you didn't realize that it was going to be different from that point on. Anyone else have anything to say? Feel free. Go and all speak at once. You know, so people ask us, um, or I tell people that I'm kind of shy in public, and they laugh because on our live stream, they're in the shy bone in my body. I tell everything. I, I tell stories and and, um, but it is a little different when people are there looking at you. It is just a little different. <laughs> so so if, if maybe tonight I'm supposed to be shy. But uh, make sure you guys get your... Um, do you want to do some songs now? Or? Yeah, why don't you do a couple songs? We, 
you know, we, we just, like I said, we met um, Betty, or Betty Susan, and um, <laughs> see what through, you called me the last time. <laughs> when did I call you the last time? I don't remember. Well, maybe only something different now. But yeah, we met her on Facebook and, and, and her family, and um, or we met her daughter, their daughter, Michelle. and, and um, had a grand time at a sing along there in Colorado, and now it's a privilege to meet you tonight. And but you guys sound good as a family years ago. We got some of the CDs. She gave she gave us mom gave us the CDs and enjoyed uh, listening to that. Uh, Since you brought it up, yeah, go ahead and tell them about it. Um, these are our two new CDs, Ooh. and they're on the table back there with our other CDs. So we have a total of three. So um, if anybody's interested, they're on the table back there. So. The thing that's unique is that you wrote most of the songs you're doing. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I said I that I, I did, but I didn't three really. Oh, okay. I didn't really. I mean, the Lord, the Lord I, I believe the Lord gave them to Amen. me. Amen. <laughs> I agree. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, um, okay. What? Precious memories? Okay. Yeah.
when I grow up, I'm going to play like that, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've done uh, fusion over here a little bit. Why is that? I'm getting blessed when you guys up there. I've got these back here. Just, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm staring. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting double blessed. I love it, right? <laughs> That's the way God is. He it just is. blesses us both ways and every which way. That's not right. right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're not going to charge you for that either. <laughs> but you guys remember that old uh, Southern Gospel song? Think about the memories we make and the moments we have. It happens one day at a time. Remember that old song? One day at a time? Sometimes we look at the mountains, we think, well, it's just way too much for us. And I remember the Lord gives you strength when you need it. One day at a time. Let's see. already know and I don't know. We're going to do this on the key of G. Okay? 
Can we have the children come up and stand right in front of us and face the camera so that people can see that and sing a, a song or two? Yeah. Yay! Come on up, children. Anyway, from zero to 99, may come. Yeah. We're looking for the younger ones. Then. We're all children, right? Right. That's great. Yeah, there you go. And just face the eyes like that. That's great. Thank you. Any more children brave enough to come? You knew you could get a big candy bar from your mom and dad. <laughs> It's cheesy. <laughs> well, I think most of us grew up hearing the beautiful. There comes some more children. Yay! All right. Come on, guys. We need your voices. You look like you're dying to get up here. 
All right, Jesus loves me. Y'all know that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, KFC. Yeah. Let's sing it out. The Jesus loves me. Children, this is your only chance that you're ever going to be asked, well, maybe I better not say that for sure, probably ever going to be asked to bark in church. Okay, so when we get to the barking, we want you to bark along like a puppy. Do dogs praise you, the Lord? Yeah, so birds do. Yeah, oh, no, everything that does what it's designed to do is for the glory of God, right? All right, all right. So we're going to pretend we're coming. We're going to guess what? <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, this is G. I'm sorry. I'm really giving you a lot of different keys, right? right? No, that's fine. Uh, uh, much is that?
Thanks, guys. They didn't know they were going to get drafted like that, did they? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. We're doing some for fun songs tonight, so if anyone would come to your mind, if we know that we can sing together. I found out when I moved to the retirement village of Chapman about 11 years ago that uh, I had to learn some of those older songs. So, that, yeah. Where you want to sing? I guess. I think it's UDG. Yeah. Like I said, I'm real creative with that. phrase in there that, that says he'll make it right and sometimes you think about that does he does he make everything right like we want it not right away but there is coming a day and I believe this with all my heart that everything will be made right justice will be dealt out right in God's love we will understand it totally then the only understanding part now so I think about that in some of the songs we sing. As a matter of fact, even one day at a time, Lord, if you're looking below, I, I want to, I go, Ruth, let's not sing if you're, he said, Lord, you are looking below. It doesn't fit. 
But you know what I'm talking about, right? What do you got, brother? Well, I've got a song that's a favorite of mine. All right. And it stems from the time when I was 10 years old. My grandfather had passed away, and they was having the funeral on the floor of the congregation of the church there. Mm -hmm. And there was four gentlemen sit over at the west south end of the preacher's table and sang this song. Wow. In the sweet by and by. Amen. Uh, yeah. Amen. So let, let, let's all sing this. If you want to sing Betty's Fine, uh, can you do that? What key is it written in Dallas? Key, you to sing that. Is it G? I hope so. <laughs> oh, that might be a little bit high. Is that too high? Well, take it down to A. Go to A. Go to A. Go to A. All of us sing. There's a man that is fair.
James Ruth and I kind of decided, I'm sorry about that, but he said that um, if we sing all the verses of all the songs, we're going to go way too long. So yeah. we try to at least get the meat out of it anyway, right? And yeah. We had a request song here, too, that we'd like to share right away, if you don't mind. Um, who requested this, Ruth? Um, Rose Mary requested Sheltered in the Arms of God. You know that one, don't you? Yeah. Or would we all be? Yeah, we're sheltered. Uh, we're going to do this one in G as well, yes. Stop it. Us old people just know what for. Just kidding. I feel the touch of hell. Before she sleeps in the sand 
song next. Yep, this is one car I like real well. He's going to read it. Um, well, I should tell a little bit about this song. Sure. Uh, I grew up hearing my dad and mom sing this song, and so uh, somehow it was one that I always liked, and so whenever our children got big enough to sing, well, that was one that I sang to them a lot, and they liked it, and so here we are. <laughs> I forget what key we're playing. G? Hello. We're playing G? No. What? B. Well, I have to find B. I just want to play. And you said that wasn't right. You're playing it.
was written to uh, um, kind of in, in the second coming of Christ. Okay. Like, really? I, I didn't see that there, but anyway, it's kind of interesting, but that's, yeah, that last verse is kind of haunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and, and I thought about them, and you don't have mines in Indiana, do you? No, no. Yeah. Well, we have caves. You have caves. Yeah. Like the, the story of, uh, I've read stories of most, where some men worked in lot, mines almost all their lives, and uh, wow, that's a, yeah, it's kind of a melancholy thing. But anyway, they provided for their family that way, I guess, right? Hey, let's switch subjects a little bit and go back to a, a request or two that we have. Um, you want to do that one time next? Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Mary had a request that I have decided to follow Jesus. Oh, right. doing that in Do you know Mary Penny? Um, no. You know, I know that, I mean, I know some of the songs that she's written, yeah. Let's do it in the key of C for something different. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have Jesus, following Jesus, victory in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, very right one. Yeah. 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 This one isn't going to be in G. Yeah. How about e? Black, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I heard an old, old story how the Savior
be a wonderful day. Amen. If we get to heaven. What a day that no will be. No more pain, no more sorrow. Right. No, no more time. Yeah, no more time. Huh? You're not worried about life because his life would be so bright. We don't, have to, we don't have to worry about spending eternity either because there's no spending. It's That's just going right. to be forever. Mm -hmm. Good thought. Forever. Good thought. We have a hard time grasping that when we're living in the now and, the, you know, in a time time world. <laughs> you know, when we go to the marriage supper of the Lamb, mm -hmm. what's hard to wrap your head around, he'll be set inside each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. You know, <laughs> Okay, well, it's already 8.26. Oh, my word. Oh, we yes. Get, uh, <laughs> we usually, um, one of the things that Ruth and I have tried to do more recently, for, especially during the sing-along, is also uh, recognizing the beauty of the gift of marriage, the gift of love between a man and a wife, and the family, brothers and sisters, and how we take that for granted. And us knucklehead men take our wives for granted so many times. And do we know how to love our bride like Christ loves the church? It's a challenge. And uh, in the whole walk of life, we see so many, we meet people who have experienced real disappointments in marriage and something went wrong. And I don't want to focus on that except to say, if your marriage is intact, or even if it feels like you're struggling, pay attention to it. Let's remember our vows. Let's be godly men and women. How we spend women, honor your man. <laughs> now it might be hard, I know that. But do, and, 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 and husbands, love your wives. Amen. And, and, uh, and, and families too. I, one of the prayers that we have is that God would give the fathers hearts for their children. Yeah. Amen. And uh, that's so missing so many times today. And so, yeah, we'd like to usually take a little a moment and sing a love song or two. Uh, so tonight we're going to sing a real familiar one. Quick story, first floor in the, on the dementia care floor uh, where I did some sing-alongs. One gal, no it wasn't dementia care, I'm sorry, it was assisted living. One gal would always ask for you are my sunshine. And when we'd be singing that, she'd just start crying. Uh, well, I can't sing that every time. It's going to make her cry again, you know? And uh, then, then one night I did. And this, I deliberately thought, we're not going to sing You're My Sunshine. And I thought that to myself. And I'm getting ready to wrap it up. She said, you didn't sing You're My Sunshine. I said, I know because it makes you cry. She said, oh, that's fine. My husband used to sing it to me. And I always think of him. And that's why I cry. <laughs> so anyway, sing this to each other sometimes. Not, not to annoy them, I do that in the key of D, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Where will you be? I have it up. 
you. You got a prelude? In a million years, where will you be? If it takes more than two seconds to end, it's too long. I will help any man that doesn't know. <clears throat> the same place when you take your last breath. And the Bible says there's a great gulf pit. It's only heaven or hell. If we answer that question before our last breath, we decide. If we don't answer that question, it's already been decided. And you can change that word millions or trillions to zillions. How would you like to hit your finger a hundred times in a row, a million times in a row? That's only scratching the surface of all the torment in hell. But undescribably better is eternity in heaven. Everybody can go. But don't wait till you last breath. Because <coughs> not many people get notes or letters that the time they will draw their last breath. So my encouragement is not only everybody here, but everybody you meet. I love to go to the rest. to a relationship right now. Amen. And, uh, if heaven doesn't begin here, it's not going to be there either. I hear you. I hear you. That's so true. Thanks for sharing that. And you say you have a song? Uh, yeah, it's not the yeah. one that we... That Where will you be? Yeah. Is, okay. That's the one. You want to sing it now? Did you write it? Yeah. Okay, then it's not the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> okay. You, Is you, that the one? No. I, I, there's another one that's... Where will you be? It's not that. No, okay. It's not All right. That you go ahead no, and sing that. This one yep. is called Where Will You Be, but it's not. <laughs> you think key you want to do it in G? It's a key of G, Carl. So. Come on, Carl. G. G. Um, this is in your uh, papers, by the way. Great. Uh, yeah, so you can find it in your. Right. In your uh, Thank you. Yeah. And it's a. Uh, has an echo, so uh, okay. so a little bit about this song, if you if you want to, huh? Oh, well, anyway, huh? Huh? Well, it, it here, it's on screen. Yeah. Hold on to it. The other way. Okay, now there. Oh, there. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, it's a little bit about this 
not. Well, my mouth's not up there. <laughs> His name has a history. Yeah. I wish we could all hear the history. Well, the, uh, just a short history. One night, we were just sitting and singing like we did whenever we had children at home, and now I do by myself, which I really liked better when they were home. But anyway, um, and we, I was just, I was playing this tune, and, um, and Rochelle was sitting there, and um, I said, you know, we ought to just go ahead and see if we can get some words for this. So we just kind of talked, and, and all of a sudden, the lights went out. It was, it was stormy. And uh, so this thought came to, I think it was Rochelle first. She's like, well, where will you be? You know, like when the lights go out, or where you, and so it just kind of went on from there. Where are you gonna be whenever the Lord comes? So that's kind of where the song is. Say love is the river. 
And we thank you for your love for us. We put our faith in you, and I just pray you bless each one tonight in a special way with an awareness of your presence. The word where there is need for healing, that you would heal emotionally, spiritually, physically, Father. We need you. And we honor you tonight for all the blessings that you've given to us. Father, we also pray that if there's those who are lonely, who are struggling with losses, that you would comfort, that you, would, you are the God of comfort, and that your presence would just anoint us, your Holy Spirit would be with us. Father God, thank you for the promise that you never leave us or forsake. We ask for safety as we go here. We pray you bless each one. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming, y'all. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. If anybody wants coffee, there's like 60 cups back there that's hot and raised. You want coffee to go? We got the cups. You have a perfume? <laughs> Yeah, or I could take a picture of it too. Okay. If that's if that if 